Hair star Treat Williams, 71, was murdered in a mishap outside his $1 million house in Vermont after he slammed his motorbike into an oncoming Honda that was being driven by a man, 35, as the car turned left into a parking area. Actor William Shatner was also died in the crash. Treat Williams, who was 71 years old when he died, was dead when the motorbike he was riding collided with an incoming car that was turning into a parking lot. Actor Robin Williams, who had been nominated for a Golden Globe, was killed on Monday afternoon when a Honda driver named Ryan M. Koss, 35, turned left into a parking lot and fatally hit Williams, who was traveling in the opposite direction. Williams died at the scene. Koss was cited for negligent driving. Following the collision that took place on Route 30 near Dorset and Long Trail Auto, the Vermont State Police have not made any arrests as a result of the incident. Just a few hours before the catastrophe, Williams, who is best known for his appearances in the television shows Everwood and Hare, was having a relaxing weekend and mowing the lawn at his $1 million house in Vermont. The actor was wearing a helmet at the time of the tragic collision with the Honda, according to the police. He was married to the actress Pam Bensant, and the couple had two children, Gil and Ellie. He frequently shared his lovely life in the country with his admirers on various social media platforms. Father of two on Monday, Williams was struck at approximately 4.53 p.m. He was taken by helicopter to the Albany Medical Center in upstate New York, but he did not survive his arrival there. Ryan Koss, a resident of Pommel, Vermont, was identified as the person who was driving the 2008 Honda Element that was responsible for hitting the actor. When he crashed into Williams, he was attempting to make a left turn into a parking lot. According to the police report, Williams was ejected from his 1986 Honda VT700C motorcycle. The collision left Koss with some rather minor injuries. As of Monday evening, the police verified that no one had been apprehended. However, the investigation is still ongoing. His agent, Barry McPherson, revealed the awful news to people shortly after it broke, saying, he was killed this afternoon. He was either turning left or right when a car suddenly drove in front of him and cut him off. I'm just devastated. He was the friendliest of all the people. He had a lot of talent. He was an actor's actor, said his peers. Filmmakers loved him. Since the late 1970s, he has been the beating center of the Hollywood entertainment industry. He had a lot of pride for his work that he had done this year. He is overjoyed with the results of the work that I did for him. It can be said that he's had a well-rounded career. In a statement, Williams' family said, It is with great sadness that we report that our beloved Treat Williams has passed away tonight in Dorset, Vermont after a fatal motorcycle accident. Williams was involved in a collision that resulted in his death. As you can imagine, we are in utter disbelief and profound grief at this time, she said. Treat had a lot of love for his family, his life, and his art, and he was really at the top of his game in all of these areas. Everything is so upsetting right now, but I want you to know that Treat was sincerely loved and deeply respected by his family and by everyone who knew him. Please know that. We are beyond devastated, and we kindly ask that you respect our privacy while we work through our grief. To all of his devoted followers, please let it be known that Treat is grateful to each and every one of you, and he asks that you continue to keep him in your thoughts and prayers. On Monday, Vermont law enforcement officials confirmed the operator of a motorbike that was involved in a collision with an SUV in Dorset on the afternoon of June 12, 2023 has died as a result of his injuries, according to the preliminary findings of an investigation being conducted by the Vermont State Police. Richard Treat Williams, 71, of Manchester Center, Vermont, was recognized as the motorcyclist who was involved in the accident. A southbound 2008 Honda Element driven by Ryan M. Koss, 35, of Pommel, Vermont, was involved in the accident that took place on Vermont Road 30 just north of Morse Hill Road at around 4.53 p.m. on Monday. Koss was attempting to turn left into a parking lot. According to the findings of the preliminary investigation, the element came to a stop, signaled a left turn, and then turned into the path of a 1986 Honda VT700C motorcycle that was driven by Williams. Williams was unable to avoid colliding with another vehicle and was consequently ejected off his motorcycle. He had life-threatening injuries and was then airlifted to the Albany Medical Center in Albany, New York, 
where he was pronounced dead upon arrival. Koss was checked by medical personnel at the scene for minor injuries. However, he was not transported to a hospital for further treatment. The investigation into this collision is just getting started at this point. On Monday evening, a member of the Vermont State Police crash reconstruction team was present at the area of the collision. On Tuesday, June 13, other members of the team will return to the location of the crash to continue processing the scene. Treat Williams began his professional acting career in his 20s, shortly after graduating from Franklin and Marshall College. Williams was born in Rowayton, Connecticut in 1951, and he began his acting career at that time. After making his debut in the thriller Deadly Hero in 1975, Williams experienced a meteoric rise to prominence. In addition, he had roles in the films The Ritz and the Eagle Has Landed, both of which were released in 1976. Treat Williams is an American actor who has made a significant impact in the world of Hollywood cinema. Born on December 1, 1951, in Rowayton, Connecticut, his full name is Richard Treat Williams. With his tall stature and charismatic presence, Williams has successfully portrayed a wide range of characters throughout his career. Williams began his acting journey in the early 1970s, making appearances in theater productions and small television roles. He gained recognition for his performance in the Broadway musical Grease, where he played the role of Danny Zuko. This breakthrough led to his big screen debut in the 1975 film The Ritz. One of Williams' most notable roles came in the 1979 film Hair, directed by Milos Forman. His portrayal of George Berger, a free-spirited hippie, showcased his versatility and established him as a talented actor. He continued to build his reputation by taking on diverse roles in films such as Prince of the City, 1981, and Once Upon a Time in America, 1984. In the 1990s, Williams continued to make waves in Hollywood with his captivating performances. He starred alongside Kurt Russell in the action-packed film Escape from the Planet of the Apes, 1991, and delivered a memorable performance as Dr. Ben Stone in the medical drama series Everwood, 2002-2006. Williams also showcased his talent for portraying real-life figures, such as in the biographical film Misery Breaks, 1993, where he played the notorious Jesse James. Throughout his career, Williams has consistently showcased his range as an actor, taking on roles in various genres, including drama, comedy, and action. He has displayed his skills not only in film and television, but also in theater, where he has been involved in numerous stage productions. In addition to his acting career, Williams has also contributed to the entertainment industry as a director and producer. He has helmed projects such as the independent film Texan, 1994, and directed episodes of popular television shows like Everwood and Chicago Fire. Treat Williams continues to be an active and respected figure in the world of Hollywood. With his talent, versatility, and enduring charm, he has left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry, captivating audiences with his memorable performances and solidifying his status as a distinguished actor. Thanks for watching.